Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have a whip and chat. If you do not know what a whip and chat is, that is when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress. You can pull out whatever it is that you are working on, whether it be a craft project, um, a household project while you're doing chores, while you're running errands, while you're driving around, while you're at work. Whatever it is that you want to be doing, there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat. Um... I will say, before I get super into this, this is still the mystery painting. Uh, I know this is the fourth whip and chat I've done, but I am on, I think, day nine or ten. I just really have not been sitting down to work. I have this section left to do, and then the one directly next to it, and then I am done. So, for anybody who does not want to be spoiled, I will keep this cover on until I start diamond painting. Um, and then you guys can make decisions as to whether you want to look up or not. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting related content. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard that hot mess express. Let's be friends. If you've been here before, hi, welcome. Um, right off the bat, before I get super into my week, um, I know there are, uh, a couple schools of people here the people here who are dying to know about the potty training updates, the people who don't want to hear any more about potty training, and then the people who are here just for anything. So I'm going to just get the potty training stuff right out of the way so that if you have no interest in it, you don't have to worry that like halfway through this video you're going to bail. So um, <coughs> we've been doing very, very well. I'm going to lift the canvas now or the cover now. So turn away if you don't want to see. Um, we've been doing very very well with potty training. Um, I've mentioned it before that my, the biggest issue that we're having is that our child, uh, is not self-motivated to use the toilet. So like she won't pee on her own. Um, ugh, tell me I need to change the wax in this and I'm just too lazy to which is probably accurate because I don't think I've changed this particular pen since I've worried on this. Also, if you guys ever have any, you want to know more details about any of the pens in my videos, uh, I don't link them because I usually float through a bunch, but if you have a specific one you want details on, just let me know in the comments and I'll let you know. Anyway, so the potty training has been going pretty well. And I told her, I said, look, you gotta stop waiting until mommy or daddy tells you to use the potty. Which, you would think that would be easy, because it's like, oh, mommy said potty, let me go potty. No, it's always an argument. It's always a damn argument. But, last week, last week, the week before, all my weeks are blurring together, um, we had a minor mishap where we had two accidents in the same day. Uh, and we never figured out if it was because she was holding it in to the point that um, she couldn't make it fast enough or something else. Uh, the same thing happened this week. Again, in one day we had two accidents. One was literally on her way to the toilet and she started crying and we told her it's totally okay. You're never in trouble. This is one thing I will say. We have reiterated to her many, many times. You are never in trouble, never in trouble if you have an accident. And, um, you can tell she desperately tried to make it to the toilet and didn't because it was all over the floor right in front of the toilet. Um, and there was a second one and now I can't even remember what it was. So, do you remember the second accident this week? It was the same day. Yeah, I know, but I don't remember. I can't remember if she already peed herself and then let us know. I don't know. But I don't know how to get my child who up until the last two weeks has been doing remarkable in terms of potty training. I don't know how to get her to do it on her own. And you know, like it wouldn't be a big deal if when we told her to go pee that she would pee, but she doesn't. And she argues with you. And then that's when things like this happen. So um, we actually are going to see her OT for the first time in like, I think it's like two months between her canceling for being sick, us trying to reschedule, them being on school break. It's like, oh my God. But, um, that's where I will leave it for those who are 
not interested in potty training, that will be the extent of the conversation in this video. So, I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm going to address the obvious. I, yet again, have a runny nose. Uh, my kiddo lovingly passed on her cold to me. So, I... You know, pretty par for the course with 2022 being the, the year of me getting sick and not feeling well. Uh, so if you hear a lot of sniffling, that is why. Um, obviously, if I need to sneeze or blow my nose, I will do my best to uh, either give fair warning or um, pause. Obviously, that would be preferential. So last Sunday was my mother-in-law's birthday. <laughs> And, uh, she was pretty bummed because we didn't get to see her and it sucks. So my mother-in-law has the same birthday as my grandmother who Briar's named after. And, um, we had plans to see her, but obviously with the house being a little under the weather and my mother-in-law has a cracked rib, we didn't want to be those people. Now, of course, she was not happy about it in the moment. Excuse me. But I think a couple of days later, she was very appreciative of it. Because, like, I don't know if you've ever hurt your ribs and then laughed or sneezed or coughed and then realized that it was, like, one of, if not the most painful things ever. So, you know, we weren't trying to do that to her. Uh, but I think in the moment, she was just... I think it was just her being disappointed, which, like, rightfully so. I, I would understand. Um, but it wasn't a personal thing. It wasn't like, oh, we don't want to see you on your birthday. It was like, we're trying to protect you. And, um, you know, it definitely came across as hurt, and I, I felt bad. But uh, a couple days later when we were talking to her, she was saying she wasn't feeling well and was really happy that we didn't come by because I think she was already having those, like, pains from whatever she was not feeling well with. Um, so, there is so much color blocking up here. Uh, I love it. Um, I am hoping that I can finish this today with the amount of color blocking that I have, uh, but we shall see because... Usually, tell me if anyone else is like this. When I work on a project, I'll say to, like, Brian, like, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this tonight. I'll just finish it tomorrow. And then I'll come back the next day, and it'll literally take me, like, half hour. Ten minutes. The one day, it took me nine minutes to finish the painting, and I was like, are you kidding? I could have done this last night. But I didn't think about it, and the moment it felt like it was going to take too long. And, uh, you know, like, my husband, he's cute. He will ask me, like, well, how much time do you think? And I'm like, dude, I have no idea. Like, I could look at a section and be like, oh, I'll be done in a minute. And then 45 minutes later, I'll be like, how am I still working on this? Or be like, oh, yeah, this will be like a half hour. And then like three minutes later, I'm done. I I cannot gauge, especially because I use a multiplacer, which, <coughs> you know, mm, I love that little crunchy sound. Does anyone else like that when you snap your squares together and they just fit so nicely and you get that crunchy sound? Oh, um. Also, my daughter is very much awake and uh, very much of the, I don't want to take a nap anymore, which, girl, you don't nap anyway. Although she did nap the one day and I was blown away by it. Um, but she just, she's driving me crazy. So if you guys hear a lot of commotion in the background, that's just her. Per usual, she has a uh, Sky from Paw Patrol Halloween costume on at the moment in her bedroom and I have already had to avert the crisis once by going in there to clip her dress as she calls it. It has Velcro all up the back and she was pulling at it and undid it and she can't redo it herself so she was whimpering like it was the end of the world. I was like, come on kid, it's just it's just a costume, use your words. So um, anyway, anyway, we stayed home that day, and we played with the water table for a few more hours. You guys, this water table, which if I have a picture of it, I'll put it up right here. If not, I'll just put, like, the stock photo of it from Amazon. Um, it, I'm not gonna lie, it was very expensive for a water table. Uh, it is worth 
every single penny that I paid for it. Because when I tell you this kid will sit there for hours, hours, every single day, just playing with this waterway, it it's unbelievable. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's a good water table for, like, little, little kids. Um, because it does take some dexterity and... Um, a little bit of imaginative play, but we love it, and I, uh, oh good, my Gmail just crashed. Gotta love technology, but yeah, we love it, and she's just been out there, like, day after day, and it's been kind of gross, like, today and yesterday were both, like, gloomy days, and yesterday was slated to rain, like, all day, and it didn't rain until, like, late at night, I don't think. Um, and then today, it's not supposed to rain until this afternoon, but it's been dark and gloomy since this morning. Um, come on. I need my Gmail to open so that I can pull up my notes for the week. I have, if anybody else is one of those people that, like, needs to keep track of things or can't remember, um, when you did something, one thing I've noticed is I will go into my Google Maps... I keep my location settings on, like, this probably wouldn't work for my husband because he never has his on. Um, but if you click your timeline for the day, it shows you where you went. So you can kind of, like, piece together on what day you did what. Just a little tip. So, um, but anyway, we were outside and, um, we moved it from the grass to the cement on the back patio because... My daughter decided to turn it into, like, a mud pit by just, like, digging into the ground where the water was splashing with a stick, as one does, I guess. And, um, we had, like, two changes of clothes that day. I was like, damn, kid. Um, but we put it on the patio, and it was so much nicer. So we're out there. For anyone who has followed along the saga uh, that is my neighbor, um... If you guys haven't seen it, I will link up in the eye the video that talks about the whole incident that we had with her. But if you are here for the updates, um, my neighbor, while we were all outside, came by and um, this is the first time we've spoken to her since that incident, which I don't even remember how long ago. I don't even think that was this year. I think that was last year at this point. Um and this was definitely her attempt at, like, extending an olive branch. I don't know if there's ulterior motives behind it or what. Why does my Gmail keep crashing? If my Gmail crashes one more time, I'm going to, like, scream. Um, but not in your ear because that would be rude. Um, so she came by. She works at a little, like, breakfast diner kind of restaurant in our area um and they apparently make fantastic donuts however i was not interested in the donuts that she was offering to us she was like well you guys can eat them later and i was like mm, no thanks um when she started working there this is just like a little bit of a caveat i guess uh she had left a job working for a breakfast chain um, because they required all of their employees to wear a mask during the height of COVID. And she boasted on her Facebook about how this restaurant, like, doesn't want any of their employees to wear masks. And, you know, regardless of what your thoughts and feelings are on um, wearing a mask or the pandemic... I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with having food service people in general. Like, I don't want, during a pandemic, you breathing all over my food. So, uh, I have no interest in supporting that restaurant after the way she boasted about how, like, they discourage people from wearing a mask and things like that. So, anyway, total side note. But I think that was her attempt at uh trying to make things better with us uh i think there's a part of her that realizes 
not that she did anything wrong, because I, I don't think she'll ever admit that she did something wrong, but I think there's a part of her that realizes, like, we're gonna be out in the backyard most days over the summer. What is this kid whining about now? Um, and, uh, you know, to make it less... She's good. She was just making a noise. Um, to make it less awkward, I guess. I mean, there's been times we've been out there. Like, the one day she came out, this is last summer, the summer before, she was literally, like, sunbathing out in her yard. It was pretty early in the day, like, I don't know, 10 o'clock? And we came outside, and she... Or we were already outside, and I don't think she realized we were. And then she, like, immediately packed up our stuff and was, like, huffing and puffing, like, girl... You want to sunbathe in your yard? Like, you do you, but you can't be mad that my small child is playing on her swing set or on her water table or whatever else she is doing in the backyard. Like, it's our yard, but because we're a townhouse community, our yards connect. They touch. She's honestly waiting for us to put up a fence because the people next to her on the other side have a fence. And if we put up a fence, then she just basically has to put up, like, one piece and, uh, she'll be fenced off, but that's my theory. I have zero proof for it. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. We had such a good dinner that night. Brian and I haven't made this in ages, but we were trying to think of some ideas. And I'm one of those people, like, once it starts getting really hot, I just want, like, light and refreshing and, you know, not that I dislike things like... <laughs> pot roast or meatloaf or anything like that I just sometimes in the summer I want lighter fare and so he's like why don't we make this salad it has corn and avocado and bacon and you can use chicken if you want we always do rotisserie chicken because it's so much easier um and then it has chives and dill and a dressing and it is so incredibly good I think it's toted as a side dish but we just ate it as a main dish we've done it many many times but we hadn't made it in a very long time, and I was like, let me find the recipe, and Brian, like, five minutes later, or five seconds later, I should say, I was like, this is it, and I was like, holy crap, he found it so quickly. Um, if anyone is interested, it is from, I believe, it's called Natasha's Kitchen. It is really, really good. If I remember, I'll link it down below. Um, it's obviously not, like, an affiliate link or anything like that, but uh, for anyone who's looking for good barbecue side dish kind of ideas so i hope that you guys are are faring well um summer feels like it came in full force and hit hard where we are uh which is fine i'm just you know i'm not built for heat i'm not built for sunlight i got super super burnt at my husband's cousin's party for memorial day and now I'm peeling. But yeah, that, that salad is so good, you guys. Briar had, like, almost two whole plates. So Monday, we had an early appointment at the GI doctor. <laughs> and let me tell you, we were in and out of there so quickly. I was like, this is the exact opposite of the last time we went. So now I know we have to book the morning appointments. Because, I like, I tell you, like, I don't think we even waited in the lobby for more than five minutes. And, uh... Then we didn't wait in the room for the doctor to come in for more than a few minutes. And then at the end of the appointment, when the nurse does, like, the summary, like, it was just a few minutes. It was amazing. Um, if anyone is watching this, this is DMC 112. It is an AB, and it is, like, this gorgeous, taupey color, and I am loving it. <laughs> like, look at the way it catches the light. Ah, oh. Insert drool emoji here. Um... But, Briar, so if you guys have been following around for a while, um, the goal was basically to just keep fattening up our kid as much as humanly possible, which, like, spoiler alert, we've been doing that since the day she was born, trying to fatten her up. Our kid was born at the bottom of the weight charts and has stayed at the bottom of the weight charts. Um, super Cliffstones version. Uh... Nobody seemed to be super concerned with the fact that my daughter was <laughs> underweight or even failure to thrive until she hit two years old. And then they were like, well, how come she isn't getting any bigger? And it's like, well, she is getting bigger. She's just not getting bigger at a rate they wanted her to. If you guys uh, are interested in any of like the medical journey stuff that we've been through, I will link uh, Briar's 
um, LM story up in the, the corner. Uh, it is not diamond painting related. It is just what it's like, what we've been through, and um, that kind of stuff. So if that's not your thing, no worries. Um, but we have tried to wean her off of her medication for ever. We've tried multiple times, and the last time we did it was incredibly unsuccessful. She was screaming and crying in pain on the floor. She dropped, like, a pound in very short time. She stopped eating. She didn't want to drink. It was one of those, like, we knew it was a possibility that this is how it was going to be, and let's hope and pray it doesn't. So, uh, when we had her endoscopy last summer, they still saw signs of reflux, so they just wanted us to keep going on the path that we were going, we were just kind of keeping tabs on her until they gave us the go-ahead to try again, uh, which we have gotten that now. So, Briar's at the bottom of the weight chart. She's a whole, um, like, about 31 pounds. She was 30.8 pounds today, or that day, and um, we are... When I tell you we live our life at the bottom of the weight charts, like, I, I, I really do mean that. I have friends who have said to me, like, oh, my kid's only 47 percentile, and I'm like, my kid's fourth percentile, and that is a good day. Um, we've been in double digits, like, once ever, and I think it was a total fluke. But, um, so they are giving us the go-ahead. Uh, it was funny, because they had, like, the poop chart on the wall, and now that Briar is old enough to verbalize, and she poops on the toilet... You know, when the doctor asked, she was able to tell him which one her poop looks most like, which I was like, proud parenting moment right here, you know. Um, which, it's little things like that. You don't necessarily think that one day you're going to look forward to that, but uh, if you're in that situation, maybe you will. <laughs> oh, my kiddo. She makes me, she makes me laugh. Um, but anyway... We, I, I'm very hopeful that this time it's going to work. Um, this is, I think, our fourth attempt at weaning. Um, and, you know, I'll talk about it a little bit more later in the video, but, man, reflux meds for kids are not, it's a, it's a joke. Um, my kid takes a suspension version of Pepsid. Which is the same thing that you would take, but it is in a liquid suspension. Um, but I'll talk about that. So, we um, got out of the appointment really early. We went to one of the best playgrounds. Like, we love this playground and we haven't been there in so long. Um, it's not close to where we are by any means. So, it's not a frequent flyer uh, since the pandemic. But it's one of those playgrounds that, like, whoever built it, you know, has children. Uh, because they have the picnic benches in the middle, and then all of the... I have to sneeze. That was, like, two minutes in real time. Um, the power of the pause button. But anyway, so, the playground is one of those playgrounds where, like, the picnic benches are in the middle, and all of the stuff is on the outside. So you can sit and watch your kids play. My husband is one of those, like, super nervous parents, and, um, and she totally plays into that, because when he's around, like, she's, Daddy, I need help. When my mommy's around, she's like, go away. <laughs> but we, uh, went there, and then we went to lunch, and my husband and I, with Briar, had gone to this restaurant once after he made a delivery of a pop for someone, um, and, again, this is not very near to our house. This is, like, you know, 40 minutes away. Um, but it was the perfect excuse to go because we were nearby. Um, and we went and we had a wonderful meal. And, you know, for some reason we were, like, the only people that weren't old in this restaurant. And I don't know why because it, it's a very eclectic restaurant. But they were... Most of the people there were getting a, a kick out of Briar. But um, we did that. And then, uh, we came home and she, uh, was like whining and crying over her nap. And I was like, Briar, what's wrong? 
and um, quick water break. She was like weeping at this point, and she's like, "There's two things that are bothering me," and I was like, "Okay," and she's like, "One." the birds are drinking the water from my water table and like I'm trying to keep a straight face but like I'm I'm kind of cracking up because I'm like girl it's water it's outside it's not like it's the birds are just drinking it they're thirsty um and then she goes two nobody got me from my nap and I was like your nap isn't even over you know like but if you guys could have seen like she was so distraught about the birds drinking her water I was like girl you're okay. Um, and she even like, Daddy, the birdies were drinking my water. And I don't know why it made her so upset, but it did. And, uh, yeah. This was one of those days, that, like, we went outside after her nap, played some more on the water table. You guys are going to be sick of this water table because we, we literally played with this water table any day that wasn't raining since we got it. <laughs> Oh, look at an AB drill with no coating. And now she's screaming, like Banshee. Not, I need help kind of scream. Um, but this is one of those days, we were outside, and I just looked at my husband, and I was like, I don't really want dinner. And he's like, I'm not really hungry for dinner either. I go, but you know what I do want? I want ice cream. So we just decided to be um, responsible parents and just have ice cream for dinner. And, uh, it was funny, because when we were there, there was a, a, a woman outside with her little guy, who was three, and he was in a white t-shirt, and he was just covered in, like, melted chocolate. Um, she's like, well, we were gonna go to Target, and I go, who cares, he's a little kid. If anybody says anything to you, be like, here, we're, get, we're here to get a new shirt, like, who cares? Kids are meant to be messy, um, I say, as, like, I always freak out when my kid gets shit all over her clothes um but that's because i'm one of those people are you guys people who are good at stain removal because i am not i am one of those people that like i could put something through the wash 17 times and be like why is this still not coming out like i don't i don't know how to remove stains um oh this is an empty pen um there's no wax in the tip and it has a straightener so if you see me, like, manhandling my canvas, that's what's going on there. Um, but yeah, man, Cold Stone Creamery. Love me some Cold Stone. But it was fun, and we were chatting, and, you know, they were having some difficulties potty trading, and I was like, hey, we can relate. Um, it's nice to just chat with somebody who doesn't want to tell you, well, have you tried giving them stickers or letting them run naked or this thing giving them a treat blah 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 i'm like ugh. anyway so the next day we did a pickup order from old navy they were having a 50 percent off bathing suit sale i don't think it's still happening but now that we sign our kid up for swim lessons and she has this water table i was like it's worth it for us to have a couple extra suits um you know Sorry, there's like a string attached to that AB drill, so... Into the trash you go, because I do not feel like taking that apart. Um, so, like, I got a text message at, like, 7-something in the morning saying, Oh, your pickup order is now available. And I was like, damn, what time do these employees get in there? Like, I came from the world of retail, and I would not be thrilled to be working at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, but it was weird, because they didn't have any designated curbside spots and it was like please describe your location and brian's like well i'm just gonna pull up right in front and put our four ways on i was like nailed it and uh the girl who brought it out her name was Lindsay, and i was like oh hey another Lindsay!" and she just looked at me and i was like okay well i guess we're not making conversation <laughs> um but old navy if you are looking for long-sleeved swimsuits for your kiddo they have non-childish prints like florals and they also have some more like young kid prints but um a couple of the ones we got were from the uh like match the family collection which if you didn't know old navy is one of those stores that like they have certain collections where they make the pieces in baby all the way excuse me up through adult and plus size 
so that if you want to do family photos, you want your husband, your son, your daughter, yourself, your dog, whatever to match, they have outfits with matching pieces. And this was one of them. Um, excuse me. Um, and then we went over to Duncan because it's like right in the same shopping center, grabbed ourselves some breakfast and headed to the ice rink. Um, we had ice skating and then it's, it's kind of annoying. We didn't have ice skating last week because of Memorial Day. And then we don't have ice skating this week because there's a summer camp happening. And it's like, well, that sucks. Like we don't normally get that many breaks and not in like a, oh, my kid's overworked kind of way. But like, it's one of those things that these are recurring sessions. So like as soon as one ends, the next one starts, uh, which is great for us at least. Um, I don't know if this is true with, like, other people who've been doing Diamond Art Club kits recently, but I feel like I never worry that I'm going to run out of drills, and I feel like on this canvas I have quite a few colors that I felt that way. Um, I haven't run out of any colors, but... It's not like you not to worry. No, no, no. Like, okay, Dreamer Designs, every time I work on Dreamer Designs, because I'm telling you, Dreamer Designs does not give you nearly as many extra as Diamond Art Club, and I know there are people out there who pick out, like, their trash, like, shout out to Marlene, who was like, you don't look at the bottom of your drills before you place them? I do not. Uh, if they seem like they're wonky, I'll take them off my canvas. <laughs> but, um, I definitely have had a couple colors where I'm like, uh, am I gonna have enough? And I... I'm not one of those people that pulls out a ton of, ton of trash, but if you have ever done a Diamond Art Club canvas, you know that if you run out of drills, they will send you some for free, no problem. Um, so, that was a tangent. Uh, where am I at? So, we went ice skating, we went to the Real Taco Bell for lunch, which is pretty common for us to do after ice skating. Um... Her happy schools right now make me think she's having a lovely time in her room. Uh, and then the loud thuds make me wonder what the hell is she, <laughs> is she doing? <laughs> um, but we had a super busy morning. Um, and it's really funny. Like I had said earlier, like Briar is very different with mommy than she is with daddy in terms of like playing on the playground. <laughs> she's also very different with mommy and daddy in terms of using the bathroom. So when she's in a public restroom with Brian, she needs help with everything. When she is in a public restroom with me, she wants to do it all by herself. She wants to lock the door. She doesn't want me to come in. And I'm like, all right. So I allow that with discretion. Like we went to the tur on the turnpike the one day and I was like, Briar, it is way too busy here for me to not be in there with you. Like I don't, I want to make sure that, you know, my kid's safe. Uh, but she literally waited until Brian went to the bathroom to be like, mommy, I have to go potty. And I'm like, are you, are you kidding me? And then she locked the door. She couldn't reach the toilet paper dispenser. It was like, mommy, I need toilet paper. I need help. And I'm like, Briar, open the door. I can't open the door. She's like sitting in the bathroom screaming at me. <coughs> My husband's like, well, I would have just taken her with me. And I'm like, yeah, I know you would have, but she didn't announce to me that she needed to go until after you had already gone in. Um, so that was fun and exciting. And I'm just like, let's not make this the new trend, which, spoiler alert, she did that to me later in the week as well. She waited until my husband was in the bathroom to be like, okay, I have to go potty now. And I'm like, normally she'll see Brian get up and go, oh, daddy, I have to go potty. Um, which, if you've... If you're wondering, and I mentioned earlier that she's not self-motivated to pee, she's much better outside of the house than she is in the house. But we, uh, um, where was I? Oh, so the day before we had played around with some, like, kids' nail polish, and it was, like, the kind of, like, peels off. And when she was playing with her water table, like, it literally just, like, floated off her fingers. So I actually called to get us appointments to get, uh, Manny Petty... Um, I had been wanting to do something with my nails, and this is what I ended up with, folks. Uh, but 
you know, I know she likes to get her nails done. It's not something I treat her to very often because even though they charge less for her than they do for me, which they should, and I also appreciate it, um, I... It's not always an easy experience because I have to, depending on the timing of things, like, keep her entertained, but also constantly remind her, like, don't touch anything. You know? Uh, there's a piece that's broken. So, we called ahead, and after her nap, we went and got uh, Manny Petty. Now, I like this location simply because they have a kid's pedicure chair. It would not be my number one choice of, like, if I wanted to get a manicure, this is not necessarily where I would go. I'm just going to put that out there. Uh, I am one of those people, like, I cannot file my own nails. I am just awful at it. I don't <laughs> I don't know why, but I just am. And um, so we sit down. We're both in the pedicure chairs, and I'm sitting next to her, and um, the woman's getting all of her stuff ready for Briar, and... She is, oh, just knock that up. Oh, I love listening to her have conversations on her own. Um, so she's getting everything ready for both my chair and Briar's chair, and I'm just like, hmm. And I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting as my daughter is now getting a pedicure, and I'm still sitting there, and none of the other nail techs are coming over, and I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And then she starts painting Briar's nails, and I'm like, still waiting for someone to come over. Uh, well, I guess the way they decided to book it was they were going to book both of us with the same person. What that means is that Briar now has to sit through Mommy having an entire manicure and pedicure. Uh, if I had known that was the case, I would not have gotten a pedicure. I very rarely get pedicures in general, um, not because I don't like them, but they are expensive. My pedicure style is boring. I always get the same thing. I always get silver glitter on my toes, or silver on my toes, and um, I like to keep my toenails short, so, like, it's just, it's not one that I often do for myself, but at this point, I couldn't, like, back out of it, you know? Uh, so, we were sitting there, and I, oddly enough, the color, this AB color that I just showed you guys, was very similar to what I ended up picking. Uh, I thought it was silver, and I put it, she put it on my toes, and it was definitely, like, much more dark, like, taupe. Almost leaning towards, like, a purple. Uh, but I was just like, I'm gonna go with it, because what? there's no point in not at this point. Oh, I'm gonna blow my nose again. Hold on. And I'm back. So, um... You know, I was doing, Briar, Briar was doing a fantastic job for being patient with the situation. So she's sitting with me while I'm getting my nails done. And at this point, Briar is dry. Her nails are dry. She's done. But uh, she doesn't understand my nails or not. So I pulled up, I have like this reading game on my phone. And we've played it a couple times. I don't really do like tablets and stuff like that with my kid and if you do like that's that's totally I have no problem with that um it just this was one of those situations where uh if I had known that we were both being done by the same nail tech that I would have brought something for her to you know have um but she kept saying like mommy I need you to she would let the screen turn off or she would exit out of it or whatever. I was like, Briar, my nails are wet. I can't keep doing this. But she was very sweet and, and she was very personable and um, she was chatting with the nail tech who got a kick out of her and, you know, I was, I was happy that we got to have this experience together. Briar really loves, like, that feeling of being pampered. Um, which, you know, I'm probably creating a monster here, but if it's something that I can do to bond with my kid and make her feel good about herself, you know, why wouldn't I? Uh, it's not that it happens very often. Um, you know, I think this might be the third time she's had her nails painted by someone that's not me or Brian. Uh, if you guys did not know, every July we paint our nails light blue for 
National Airway Disorders Day, which is July 10th. If you guys would like to participate in that, all you have to do is paint your nails, fingernails, toenails, whatever, uh, light blue. Any shade of light blue can be one fingernail, can be all your nails, can be an accent, whatever you want to do, and just tag me on social media, and I will reshare it. And the whole point is to raise awareness uh, for people. Most people will ask you about it. If they see a couple people together with their nails all the same color, they usually ask about it. My husband usually gets the most questions because <coughs> not very many men walk around with their nails painted regularly, and um, it's always a really good starting block for a conversation. And raising awareness is, you know, the cornerstone of growing and spreading knowledge, you know? You can advocate as much as you can, but it all begins with teaching people what it is you're advocating about. <coughs> Excuse me. So, afterwards, we ended up going to the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree, next door. It blows my mind that this kid remembers, like, little details, because she was saying it inside. And I let her, I gave her $3 to spend, or three items to spend, I guess now. And, uh, she, like, very methodically goes up and down the aisles and decides what she wants. Um, and then she wanted to go back to the unicorn, and then she got upset because, uh, thank you, My Little Ponies. We have learned that a unicorn with wings is actually called an alicorn. Um, and Twilight Sparkle is one, in case anyone does watch My Little Ponies. And she no longer wanted it because it wasn't a true unicorn. And the packaging said unicorn. I was like, cool, 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 cool. This is, this is the hill we're going to die on. Um, which was fine because she ended up picking out something else anyway that she wanted more. Uh, but one of the things she picked out was this stress ball material dinosaur. They tagged it right on the top with like one of those like plastic tag guns. And I had said to her in the car... Listen, because she does not like tags. She's one of those people, she will rip off a tag. Um, and she will do that to, like, I'll have her try clothing on to see if it fits her. And she'll rip the tag off. And I'm like, Briar, I can't return it if you rip the tags off. Well, I don't like the tag. I'm like, I'm not asking you to wear it with the tag. I'm just asking you to try it on and see if it's the right size. Um, and we got into this huge blow up because I'd said to her, here are your choices, Briar. You can either leave the tag alone and mommy will cut it off with scissors when we get home. Uh, or you can just leave the tag on for right now. Uh, it, because of that material, I knew if she pulled it, it would have ripped a hole in it. Uh, so that turned into like kicking and screaming and crying and like massive tantrums. And then she's like, we're going to go out to eat dinner. And I was like, we are absolutely not going out to eat dinner. She's like, you said we were going to have dinner after this. And I was like, correct. Daddy made dinner while we were gone. And then Brian's texting me like, are you guys okay? And I'm like, yeah, it's because we had one person doing two manicures and two pedicures. It took forever, you guys, forever. I mean, I was very thankful and I'm glad I did it. But, oh my God, the aftermath of it, I was like, damn kid, like, oh my gosh. Um, but... I ended up cutting out the tag when we got home because I had confiscated it from her in the car uh, in case anyone was curious. So the next day was Wednesday, and this is our last Wednesday that we have before Kinder Music starts. And sadly, Kinder Music is going, this session is going to be our last one because her class would be when she will be in preschool. And, um, it makes me sad, because we've been going since Briar was, like, six months old. Um, and I love it, and I adore her class, I adore the, the teacher, like, I just adore all of it. Um, so, we had to pick up her medicine. So, when I touched base on this earlier, this is what I'm going to talk about. So, if you live in a different country, and you think, you know your healthcare system is one way or another. I really can't speak to that. I'm only going to be talking about, like, this is only going to be relevant, I guess, to people who deal with the U.S. healthcare system. Um, so my daughter takes Famotidine, which is uh, 
Pepsid. She used to be on Omeprazole, which is Prilosec. And at one point, she was also on Ranitidine, which is Zantac. Uh, super boring. There's two different kinds of reflux meds. There's an H2 and a PPI. Um, the PPI was a lifesaver for us. Fortunately, we were able to get off the PPI and just on an H2. I'm not going to get in any further into that. Um, so I go to pick up her medication, and because her doctor gave us the go-ahead to wean, the script went from going one and a half milliliters twice a day to one and a half milliliters once a day. So if this was like an adult, you would take one pill in the morning, one pill at night, and then you would only take one of those pills, okay? You can't do that when it's a liquid. If this was a true liquid medication, it has a longer shelf life, but because it's a suspension medication, it only has a 30-day shelf life. And that is why they do not actually mix the meds until you walk in. Because, like, if you refill your prescription and then don't pick it up for four days, your prescription is going to expire uh, before you finish it. So, I double-checked and I said, so this is for one and a half once a day, correct? And they said, no, it's twice a day. And I was like, oh. So, I'm talking to the pharmacist. Uh, I was talking to the farm tech first. And then I was talking to the pharmacist. <laughs> And, um, the problem was, if I just refilled the prescription the way it was, I'm just making out numbers here. Let's say there are 60 doses in that bottle, twice a day for 30 days, okay? It's actually a 24-day bottle, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, so that means that if I'm only doing one of those doses, by the time I get to the end of the month, I'm still going to have... 30 more doses in that bottle and I have to throw it away because the medicine goes bad. And when I tell you it goes bad, it changes texture. It changes color. It is no longer good. I'm sure that it still has some of the properties of the medication, but it's expired at that point. Um, and you know, like I know for me, I have definitely taken like cold medication, uh, that is past its expiration, but there's a difference between taking, like, a dose before you get something new and taking an entire month's worth. So I'm talking to the pharmacist, and she's telling me that, unfortunately, even if the doctor were to write the script as one and a half once a day, they cannot fill that small amount. Um, we are on a low dose of it currently, and because of the way the powders are made, they can't just you know, break the bottle in half and, and, and fill it separately. So that also means because it's an over the counter for you and I, it's not covered by insurance at all. So while this one is not nearly as bad as my, uh, Omeprazole, Omeprazole at one point was over a hundred dollars a bottle. Um, again, short shelf life. This one is about $40 after a good RX coupon, and um, it just sucks knowing that I'm basically throwing away $20 worth of medication before I can even start the bottle. And it's, it's frustrating because no matter how many times you argue with the insurance company, because it's available as over-the-counter, like, they don't care that babies can't swallow pills. Um, so that... You know, and I had Briar in with me in the pharmacy, and it was taking forever because, obviously, we were trying to resolve the issue. And the woman behind us, you could tell, like, she was pissed because she just wanted to come pick up her medication. It's like, well, you know, I had to wait in line, too, girl. Like, calm, calm your tits. So, uh, unfortunately, that's just where it is for us with the, the reflux meds. I'm going to waste, but we've been doing it for a couple days now, and I'm seeing none of the red flags that we did the first couple times that we weaned, and, you know, my daughter is older now, but she still can't necessarily verbalize pain and discomfort the way an adult could, and I let her know if you have any, like, feelings, like, of burning in your throat, or you feel like you're gonna throw up but nothing comes up, or your belly hurts, you know, let me know. And my mom was like, don't put those ideas in her head. And I'm like, I need to know 
if her reflux is happening and she doesn't throw up. She's not like a baby, you know? Like, if you have acid reflux, you're not vomiting all over yourself the way a baby is. You also don't want her to be scared. She right, absolutely. So, that was an interesting situation. And then she's like, I want to go to lunch at the cafe. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we did. Um, she likes going there because they have the planters with the ducks, as she calls them. They're literally metal cranes. Uh, but since we were there last, they actually put plants in the planter, so I think she's even more excited now. But it was funny, because there was a table dining outside, and I think they were a little confused as to, like, why we were, like, two inches away from them, like, looking at the planters. Way on the way in. Was it? Yeah, they, these girls were just, like, watching her, and she's, like, so excited to, like, touch these. And, and every time, she's like, look, it's the ducks! And, you know, no matter how many times we tell her they're cranes, she knows what a duck is. I think in her mind she thinks it's a goose and is just mixing up goose and duck. But she loves geese. Um, anyway, so that was our, our Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, we went and we had our swim lesson. And there was a little guy before us, but they didn't have anyone after us. So it was funny, like, the second the lesson was done, she's like, all right, bye. And she went inside her house, and you could tell she had another lesson because... I changed Briar, um, and the other family, which I looked like it was siblings, like brother, sister, you could see them getting ready outside before they walked in. So, you know, she was maximizing that 30 minutes she had to herself. Um, but it's really nice seeing Briar enjoy swimming. I don't know how long it takes, like, an average child to learn how to swim, um, but I looked up, like, passes for our local, like, county pool, and I was like, holy shit, this is expensive. And they don't open till 1 o'clock because, you know, not unlike anything else, there's a shortage of available lifeguards, and so they can't open in the morning the way they used to. Um, and they no longer do, like, the half-price afternoon passes because they're not open as late in the evening so um you know I don't know like I don't have any friends that have their own pools that I can think of uh you know Brian's cousin who lives in the development across the street has told us we can come by and use the pool but I think he says that and doesn't realize that like if we literally give this kid free reign she's gonna be like every day we're gonna go visit daddy's cousin um can we ride our bike over there, Daddy? Can we go visit our cousin? Can we go to the pool? Like, it's literally going to be like that every day if we actually let her go. Um, but anyway, we decided to go get tacos um, at the taco truck, which is like 45 minutes away from us. It is worth every second of the drive. Um, if you guys are in the central Pennsylvania area, I highly recommend checking out Tacos El Gordo. Um, I'll link their Instagram down below. Uh, they are in Ephrata. They are opening their own, um, brick and mortar restaurant soon. <coughs> Excuse me. But they were in the parking lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Of an old closed Kmart. Well, since the last time we went, somebody had bought that building and they were doing like major construction. So now they actually moved locations, which is uh, across the street, but... Um, they were telling us, like, they got, like, the dust kicks up when they have the equipment running, and, uh, obviously you don't want dusty tacos, and it just, it makes everything super windy down there, <laughs> it's always windy down there anyway, but, um, we pull up, and she just, like, I don't know how this kid remembers, like, every detail of everything ever in her life, but she can't find the thing that's directly in front of her, like, I don't, yeah, Briar. I don't get it. But she knew right away, and she's like, this is where I get the soda. Uh, because every time we've gone, we get a Mexican soda. We let her pick whichever flavor she wants, and she can try it with Mommy and Daddy. And, um, you know, she's not drinking that much of it. We ended up taking the rest of it home because, again, she doesn't really drink that much of it. Oh, my God, I feel like I have to sneeze again. Um, but we went to, uh, 
CVS. Because I was starting to feel like the runny nose was starting to happen and, uh, like, the little tickle in my throat. And um, I just wanted to combat it and get some medicine. And there was a girl at self-checkout, and she was freaking out. Now, I don't know if she was more upset because her payment wasn't working or the fact that, like, there's literally one employee in the whole store. She's, like, yelling at this girl who, if I had to guess, was, like, max 19 years old. And she's just freaking out about, well, I know that my credit card works. And, you know, and this poor girl's just taking the brunt of it. And I'm just like, well, I mean, we've all been there. If you have your debit card declined and you're like, I know that there's enough money in there for this. Um, but it's not that girl's fault. And uh, and then I just took myself over to self-checkout and checked out and left. And, like, I could see she was pissed about that. As if I chose that. Um but then the next day, uh, whatever cold I have, she definitely passed it to me and it hit me hard, like real hard. I just kind of took the day to sleep it off, um, which is one of the benefits to having a spouse who works from home because he can step in and do whatever needs to be done around the house keeping her alive, keeping her fed, keeping her entertained, all that stuff, and then, um, I mean, I can tell you, like, my body needed it, because when you are sick, your body has, like, two modes of sleep, like, one, let me sleep as much as humanly possible, and then two, I've slept so much that now my body no longer wants to let me lay here, because now I'm in pain, um, and I never got to that second point, so, um, then Saturday, we just kind of phoned it in as a family. We watched uh, The Little Mermaid um, 1 and 2. Disney. Why? I, th why? Why did you make Disney? Why did you, why did you make The Little Mermaid 2? That was terrible. That was terrible. Um, also, Brian pointed out that the lifespan of a crab, Sebastian, should have been long gone. Long gone. Um... But that, most crabs can't talk, so I mean... That's true. But it was... If anybody out there liked The Little Mermaid 2, please let me know down below what it is that you liked about it. Maybe I just overlooked something. It was terrible. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry. It was terrible. And then, um... After lunch, no surprise, Briar wanted to watch The Princess and the Frog. Which, if you did not know, is her absolute favorite Disney princess. It's her favorite movie. Girl loves it. We've seen it more times than we can count. Um, and then she was just waiting for it to get, like, nice so she could ride her bike. And it just, it was gross. Uh, and then today, we have watched Moana. Um... I am feeling much better. I just, you know, still have a bit of the runny nose. Uh, so, you know, summer colds, they suck. Um, they suck a lot. But, you know, I'm still upright for the time being. It's funny, I was talking to my mom, and she's like, you sound like shit. I'm like, thanks. That's, like, always my favorite. Like, wow, thanks, Mom. I appreciate you telling me how awful I sound. Oh, also, a little bit of a tangent here. I talked about this, I think, on Instagram. But can somebody please explain to me the business model for Target? <laughs> okay. This is where I'm going to end my story. So I ordered Briar a pair of... We have them in a smaller size. They are from Cat and Jack, which is a Target exclusive line. And they are water shoes, like water socks. And they are fantastic. Um, but... <laughs> I wanted to get her the next size, and those were one of the items that Target will not ship unless you purchase $35 or more of um, products. Now, it's not like if you spend $35, you get free shipping. Like, you still have to pay for shipping. But it's also not if you pay for $35 worth of items that they're all going to be shipped together. And this is what I don't understand. So, you tell me I need to spend $35 on items. Okay, I did. 
and then you split it up into three orders. And I just don't know how that's cost effective. I mean, I'm not doing the, the papers for uh, the books for Target, so, you know. Um, but I just, I can't, I cannot fathom how that is cost effective in any capacity. Like, I know Target is a major big box store, and they, I'm sure they have amazing shipping partners, but still, like, they sent me a bag, a box from FedEx with two items in it, and a box from UPS with two items in it, um, and the two items were candy, oh, I'm sorry, one just had, like, chocolate-covered almonds, yogurt-covered almonds, and the other had, um, candy and, uh, chalk, and so that's it. I think this is a perfect place to end. We, uh, have made it through the week. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Um, if you've made it all the way to the end, um, let me know, what should I ask the people? Favorite candy? I think I've done that before. Favorite nut. Okay. Uh, if you like nuts, <laughs> let me know your favorite nut down below. Um, bonus points if it's me. <laughs> oh, stop. Get out of here. But I'm going to get out of here. Uh, Ah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did and you'd like to see content like this or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up. One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come. Join the Sparkle Squad. While you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time and I record when my tiny human is sleeping or like today, sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.